Hello guys, it's Joshua, welcome to another episode of The Devil In Me. Today we're kicking things off from last episode, I've got me headset stuck on my, my chair. I apologize about that, so I'll look for a way out. I remember all the doors moved, separated. Who were the characters? I think it was, was it Mark, Jamie and Kate. Now we're playing as Jamie. Look for the way out. As long as like the lights don't go off. Wait. Chillin. Yo! I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. But obviously he's watching, we've seen the cameras and stuff. So obviously he wants us to go around here somewhere. He wants, he wants us to go in here pretty much, he's probably So now what? Into the dark room. Where we know, I think, I think this was where Erin was killed, right? That door opened. He just took the animatronic out. I feel like this is where it was, um, Erin was killed. Um, until we get someone out to replace the faulty wall. Okay, okay this is testing right now, so it's gonna go up here. Do that one, and then we'll this one, that one, this one, that one, that one, that one. It said there, don't pull it. So it's it's because of the faulty door. I was about to say faulty door. We go. Okay, shimmy. Get through this way. Get nice. Just enough to squeeze on through. Now we're in the dark. Like I wish it give you more to where to go. Okay, it's a red room in here. I'm presuming this is the right way to go. The hell? So the whole time, there's been room behind the actual mirror. You've got a screwdriver, just... That's the first time he's told us about the screwdriver. Okay. Oh, what the hell? So the whole time, man just been chilling behind a mirror. Cameras. <laughs> I mean, a fluky guy, we already know that. Okay, let's inspect cameras. Mark. Mark. Okay, we've seen Mark. Whose room is this? It's, just, it's one of them, like, them. See through mirror sort of things, but it's only one way. I don't remember so much going on, not honest. Ouch! Oh, fuck me. I'm a bit lost here to honest. I don't really know what's going on. You want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. No. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. 
you got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end, that's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist, a sculptor, an architect. <clears throat> so just pretty much same the things the, the home said at the start of the game. You're not fooling me. <clears throat> oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then, huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. <laughs> Wait, so was that the actual interviewer punching him? Actually, let us live for now. Come on! Back to Kate. <laughs> Lights off. There we go. Typical. Okay. Turn the all. Light on. Okay. I feel like these lead you somewhere because some of the times, like, they're actually like dead ends. So it does sort of lead you somewhere to where you're supposed to go, but I would like it was a lot more obvious where we were trying to go to. I'm already lost. I'm, not, I'm already lost. There's, there's no hope for me in this this area. It has to be down here. I don't, I don't think I went this way. Okay, this way is new. Find the others. Get past the wall. Who says self-help books don't work? Okay, so we're prying the wall open. Come on. Just don't get crushed whatever you do, please. to get the crying. <laughs> Someone's bedroom. Oh, 
We're not there like two way mirrors. Oh no. <clears throat> no, a stupid cord again. Find the cord for the door. I mean, it should be on here, right? Uh, it's not in there. Um, hmm. Please okay, stop put crying that one down. Pretty much examine everything and everything that you can think of. Connie. A doll. Bethany. Hmm. Let's check the other room. Okay, there's no has to be around here, right? Where now exactly? By Joseph Morello. That wasn't you met on the ferry. Huh. It was Sherman. There's only two pages I can actually check from that book. <clears throat> or journal, whatever that is. Been there. This might be another Google job, you know, because I can't. Like, it'll be in plain sight, and I'm just completely missing it. Like all the, I, I can think of literally just using the times on this little um, was it this? Like eight two five nine. That's all going eight two five nine. Okay, we'll, we'll try that one. That's that's the first thing coming to my head there. Eight two five nine. I think it is a four digit, right? I think so. Uh, four two five nine. I think it was right. Four two. Five, nine. Wait, have I missed that code of four two five nine? I might have actually forgot that already. Here, four two five nine. Eight two five. Well, I'm already, what what idiot? Eight two five nine. Okay, that's a rookie mistake. Eight two five nine. Eight. Two, five, nine. <clears throat> okay, I've seen um, a thing pop up on the screen about, yeah, Kate can use pencils to find out what was written on torn paper. So maybe this might be the actual code. Okay, one, one triple nine. Yeah. <clears throat> Never mind. That's me thinking that it's smart using the actual cord. Was it one one triple nine, right? I think it was one triple nine. Like if that's wrong, I have to go back and check it. There's actually something wrong. One triple nine, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, invest in the crane. Turn torch back on. Oh, you, you can't just show me that, that I've ditched it So she's on some sort of boat. Fighting Jamie and Kate. Kate is there. Okay, I'm looking at her. Let's investigate.
Oh, Jesus. Oh my god! That's someone's in the juice head. Um, Mrs. Morello. This is with Charlie, right? Hopefully he doesn't notice that we're underneath, underneath the grate. Can we interfere? Yeah, yes, yes, I like. I float. Now what exactly? Find a way out. Yes, yeah, so he's, he's, he's one of his tall uh, his little lighting more really. So he can't get light. I'm hoping he goes into nowhere dark. If it goes somewhere dark, then it's absolutely curtains. I don't really know. I'm, I'm looking at there, to be honest. That's... Um, some sort of bridge. A broken bridge, maybe? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Bit of, bit of a weird one, that. It's just like these dark parts. Okay, uh... Got the way so we squeeze through that. <clears throat> I play a bit more. Boom. Sneak through here now, just like that. Now, door open or door closed? Door open, <laughs> never mind. I, I actually cannot see a thing right now. I'm just sitting up so far in my chair right now to, to see what's actually what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't even need to do it. Is it there for us? Put it down. There we go. Please! Please! I'll do anything! <laughs> so, I, I thought I'm drunk anyway. It's the way he's moving, yeah. Well, it's locked, typical. Um, find a way out of the workshop. Oh, it's one of these, um, yeah, the crushing things. Let's not do that. Examine. See three buttons there. <laughs> Fake. Oh, obviously, Charlie. Look, he's making noises that they don't make move. Don't move his mouth. Uh. Okay, he doesn't say what, what those buttons are for, so I'm not gonna press them buttons just yet. To find out <clears throat> what exactly I need to do. Cause like, there's an option for this button over here, but like we're not going on it, are we? Cause just asking to die. At this point in time, there's no way we're supposed to go on this. Like, like why are you actually asking? Like, look at this right, for example. Don't jump on, and you're telling me Charlie wants to go on it, to fall in and die. I don't get a wide sand to go down here. <sighs> I mean, let's go for it, I guess, you know, there's nothing. 
else to really do, to be honest. It's a point in time. You, know, you look at that, they want to turn on repair. Yeah, why would, you, why would you turn back on Superman to go the other way? But you're pretty much crawling to your doom. There, Charlie, my friend. And so, yeah, so this is about what we've seen. Which I thought it was a broken bridge. Sexual, um. The. Belt thing, whatever it's called. Wait, is that all I was doing? Oh, Charlie, I'm going myself soon. Was that like all our uh, belongings? Another one of these. Uh, they're, they're all X so far, which is fine by me. You didn't hear a thing, mate. Did not hear a thing. Well, what's, what's it going back for? What's, what's he doing? What's my man doing? Okay, just don't choke this. On the good time, Chicago 19. Oh, that's just it. Thank God. You know, bit of overkill. I mean, to be fair, you probably would have to smash the, the actual mirror thing, wouldn't you, to be what fair? the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Jesus, what is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on. Take a look at this. That's where Charlie was. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. But we saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. 
I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy implies out of control. Over here. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not. Chicago police. Mr. Monday, this is Chicago police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, oh. So Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, who maybe is he's Agent insecure Monday? about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Like low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor. But I mean, it could be a shitty dad okay. just as much. Or an uncle. Any adult figure really. Or down. Up here is open to be fair. I suppose we'll go, we'll go up, up and then we'll work our way down. Let's <clears throat> go to the caution every search. Mm, I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. Secret found. Answer for on tip. Well, I guess down we go. Still one more lower, which we can't go from here. Okay, actual dining room. Let's use the the pen or well, pencil for this. Um. Reset trap before the next group arrives. Fish body out of pool. Different bull loss after impalement. Multiple gunshot wounds and single gunshot wound. Execution. Okay. <laughs> Bit tapped. We're not the first, are we? How much of boxing deal with first? Okay. He's profiling us. I can't see Charlie stuff, but I see there. Kate, 30 years old, PTSD, uh, has anxiety and though the third one is, I can't really read that one very well, more shall I say I can't, I don't know what it means, <laughs> that's what I should say about that one.
This, this is everything about me. Jesus. Fairy man. I don't know how he's got this to be honest. So two inhalers, asthma, house dust mite, pollen, house pets. And Charlie, borderline narcissist. Come on, now no, where do I go? Like at this like point in time, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go here. Like there's further down, I don't... I don't, I feel like we don't go down there. But I've pretty much done everything down here. Like I've I've seen I've done that, I've read through the files. I've done this. So I must have missed something further up. I can't, I can't move forward. It's quite a weird, weird thing. Let's go back. He likes being in oh a position of power, God. especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Okay, well, I, I don't know what Jim is doing down here now. I've actually been down here, Jim. Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Never mind. I was supposed to be down here. How am I supposed to do the shutters? It might not be down here, unless she's doing it. I mean, Jamie's the, the technical one, right? Let's maybe upstairs. There's like a little beep and then Kai just stands still. And there's buttons down there which I know he presses buttons, I don't think they're down here though. For the shutters. Okay, we've, already, we've seen the badge. Um, must be on the top floor, maybe. Cause I've got no clue what's going on right now. Give okay, we go. Over here. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? 
one of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Okay. Uh... You take it. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay, bear, bearing update. Okay. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. Special feature so locked how do again. We get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Yeah. <clears throat> Fine, do met. Okay, we've been going for about f almost 40 minutes. Um, I feel like it's going to be the perfect time to end the episode now. If you guys did enjoy, please do smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.